it's your lovely Abby Dagren and welcome back to my channel lovelies. Today I'll be beginning a new series on my channel that deals with Mars sign and today I'll be starting with the first Mars sign which is Aries. I'll be speaking on what your Mars sign represents in your chart and then I'll be speaking on what drives an Aries Mars, who they're compatible with, and traits about them. So please stay tuned for the rest of my video. If you have not yet become a part of the Abby Dagren family, then this is your calling to do so. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when I upload videos on the daily. Please also make sure you hit that like button because I know you guys will love this video. And last but not least, please make sure you share this video with everyone you know, whether it's your friends, your family members, your enemies, anyone in general who would really appreciate this content or has an Aries Mars. Now let's get right into the video, lovelies. So your Mars sign has a lot to do with your energy and how you release that energy. Also has a lot to do with what makes you take action in regards to certain situations. It is also your desire. It's also your intimacy, so how you are intimate and how you like to be intimate in a relationship, that is something that also is very important when it comes to your Mars sign. It is whatever that motivates you. So it's your drive. It's the force that comes behind you or the force that comes upon you when it's time to put something into action. So when you have an Aries Mars, this is actually a great placement because it is ruled by Aries. So if you have this placement, it really does benefit you because you are more than likely going to be someone who's going to be ambitious. You're going to want to go after your dreams and you're going to make sure that regardless of what happens, you're going to make sure that you're going to accomplish that dream. That's something that comes with this Aries Mars. You also have that childlike spirit. So even if things around you may not look the best you're still going to make sure that you just keep moving and you just have faith in yourself that you're going to accomplish the goal that you want to accomplish with that childlike spirit as well you are also the type of person who will not look at obstacles you do not make sure you do something because you're in a tight situation you're just always going after dreams you're always going after things because you just think about the idea and you're like you know what i should do it and i'm just gonna go a hundred percent full-fledged into accomplishing this goal and people with this placement really do accomplish a lot of their goals because they tend to be very goal oriented they want to make sure that they're striving for something every single day in life and they want to make sure that anything that they strive for will be accomplished. So having goals is something that they really look into. And with this placement, they are great leaders because when you have a leader, you want someone who's going to encourage you to go after something or who's going to lead you in the right direction. They are obviously a cardinal sign and that has a lot to do with leadership so someone with this placement they're just great at leading different things they are also the types of people who are motivating as well so them being a leader is great because they will make sure that everyone in the group is motivated everyone on the shift is motivated to do what they need to do so them being motivating isn't really shocking because they tend to even though they can be hard um on you but they tend to be motivating because they see your potential and they're bold people it makes sense because they do have like a warrior sign warrior vibe aries they're gonna make sure that they fight regardless of what happens they're bold they're fearless they're not fearful of anything that comes their way that comes in with a childlike spirit because they just know that regardless of what happens, it just happens. But they just knew that they took that step into accomplishing their goals. Another thing is that they're very competitive. Aries tend to have that in them, that competitive drive. And that has a lot to do with them as people. And sometimes they're not even competitive with other people. They're competitive with themselves. And that kind of what drives them to do stuff is their competitive nature. And because of their competitive nature, they love challenges. So 
While other people or other placements may see challenges as a stumbling block, Aries Mars will be so happy to have those challenges so they can be able to accomplish something, so they're able to do something. They don't ever look at challenges as something that is negative, but they look at it as something they need to overcome or something that they need to fulfill. So challenges is something that they appreciate and love. They are unapologetic as well, so they're the types of people I said what I said or I did what I did, so if they do something, just know that they more than likely aren't going to apologize for it because if they did it, they just know that they did it for a reason and they're not going to apologize for it. Another thing is that they can be very impulsive. This is actually a huge Aries trait impulsiveness is something that can drive them as well and it can get them in a lot of trouble because being impulsive will make you make decisions that you may later regret but the thing about Aries Mars they never regret their decisions and they're always going to make sure that what they do in life they will look at it as a learning experience and just keep on moving with life that's something that makes them very victorious and it makes them very much a person to look up to because they know that regardless of what happens in life they're gonna make sure that that is never a stumbling block and they're just gonna keep on going this kind of like the song break my stride they just keep on going nothing's gonna slow them down and they just have to keep on moving so I kind of think Aries Mars really do embody that song they are also the type of people who tend to get angry fast and this can make them impulsive too. But they also are the types of people, they are, they get angry fast, but after they're angry, they let it go fast. So they're not the types of people that will hold grudges because they're like, well, you know, everything was accomplished, everything was well and done. So, you know, let's just keep on moving. Well, for other Mars, that can be difficult because it's like, well, you just yelled at me or you just said something unkind. But for them, it's like, okay, you know we just finished it but to make them really not hold a grudge you just have to make sure that you do what they would want to do so if they're mad about this if you do it then they'll be okay and there's the types of people who will go from zero to a hundred really quick so they do get mad easily but they get unmet just as easily and because of this place and they're able to express how they feel and why they feel it so in that way it's good because learning how to express how you feel is something that's very important and very essential for you to know they are also the types of people that go off things fast and they love to be direct they love for people to be direct with them and they love to be direct with you as well so when it comes to them you know where you stand with them they're not gonna you know make you have to speculate how they feel about you they're just straight up and honest they're gonna be like you know what I don't like this that, and the other and you'll just know so you can either not do what they would like to do or to do what they would like to do they are also the types of people who you probably shouldn't tell them to calm down when they're upset because that'll make them more upset because usually they are upset for good reasons so telling them to calm down would not be the best thing. However, probably like I said earlier, doing the thing that they would like for you to do would be beneficial and asking them what they need and giving it to them is also helpful as well to help with their temper. They are the types of people who are very excited when accomplishing goals. They are goal-oriented people, so having a goal and accomplishing it is something that makes them very happy and joyful because they're accomplishing something. They're great at starting things, but sometimes they can have a hard time finishing things, so if they don't have other placements that will balance it out, they will need someone else to help them with finishing the idea, but they're, they will be great with helping you continue like giving you the boost that you need giving you the encouragement you need in order for you to continue on with what they were trying to do they can be very vocal in regards to anything that they are a part of so they're going to be honest with their opinions they don't like to be restricted they love to be spontaneous in intimacy so when you're intimate with them they do love aggression
they are very passionate and they're the types of people who just want to get into it they don't want to do everything before they just want to get into it so that's something that they are known to do as well another thing is that they are the types of people who want to feel as though they're needed so they want their partners to really be obsessed with them and just like them for who they are and what they present themselves to be so being in love with them is something that they would like and something that they would appreciate because it will help them with their confidence boosting it and they just will give you the best in any relationship they tend to be the most compatible mars sign with sagittarius and leo makes sense because they are both fire signs um they do have that fire that drive and they're able to if they have an argument let it go after and they are very much goal oriented and they just believe in themselves aquarius would be great as well and gemini would be great because they're able to give them that stability that they need and they'll be able to accomplish so much with these mars signs that's all i have for you lovelies today in regards to aries mars please let me know down below what your mars sign is and also please let me know did you learn more about the Aries, Mars, or did you get a better understanding as to who they are as people? And have you ever encountered one and how it felt? Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when I upload videos. Also hit that like button and share this video with everyone you know. And last but not least, please make sure you're following me on all of my social media accounts down from my Pinterest to my TikTok. Also please support my SD store and my PayPal and everything will be linked down below. And lastly, my podcast. I love you all. Please stay safe and healthy and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye lovelies. Peace.